This is Alumni Spotlight, our series where we reconnect with former Queens standout student athletes. And today we have Chuck Whitman of the Queens men's basketball program, class of 1997, a 2018 Hall of Fame inductee. An All-American, uh, the, the accolades are endless. Thank you so much for coming on today. Thank you for having me. So you're at Queens, four years, 93 to 97, led Queens to its first ever NCAA tournament appearance. Uh, you finished as the top scorer of all time. Now you're moved down to number six. Um, so just to start with your, your Queens career, um, you know, were you, was basketball kind of the goal for you? Because you, you had a very impressive career in, in college. I know you played a little bit professionally in Brazil. Uh, yeah, I think it, uh, going to Queens, uh, going to college, actually, basketball was the ultimate goal. And I kind of felt like the only way I was going to go to college <laughs> is if I played basketball. Um, and I was lucky enough to end up at Queens. So, yeah, gotcha. that, was my, that was my priority. So where'd you grow up again? I grew up in Charlotte. Oh, God. Yeah, I grew up in Charlotte. Uh, so now you're in Los Angeles, um, actor, producer, writer, co-founder of MCM Productions. Mm -hmm. um, so you're in Los Angeles, you're in the film industry. Um, when did you sort of in your head make that transition from, you know, maybe you're a basketball player with a business, uh, your business graduate um, to, you know, taking a leap in, into kind of the film industry and everything that, that you have right now? Well, I think it started back at Queens. I, I was, um, I couldn't be in any of the productions, but I could help build some of the sets. So I remember doing that. I remember, uh, I forget which production it was, but I was uh, building some of the sets. Uh, unfortunately, the, my coach at the time found out I was doing that with like power saws. And he went to the uh, <laughs> professor and was like, uh, Chuck can't be a part of this class anymore. Especially <laughs> that, that, that part of it, the, the set making. Um, so they found something else for me, but, um, I kind of, I don't know, kind of fell in love with the whole, uh, theater and, um, not so much the film side, but definitely the theater side then. Uh -huh. Um, and that kind of propelled me after I finished my basketball career, studying acting and then moving to New York for two years and doing, um, theater. Gotcha. So that's, yeah, that's, it's really interesting to see how, uh, the, you know, that kind of transition. I think you're the first, you're the first interview that we've had uh, out of all these standout uh, former athletes have gone on to have, to lead really impressive professional lives. And uh, it's just really cool to interview someone in this sector. Can you just talk a little bit more about like MCM Productions and just uh, your role right now um, in the film industry? Yeah, you know, um, we're a small production company. I, I, my wife and I, the co-owners we both uh write together and you know this industry kind of like sports or anything in life you kind of have to to pivot right so right. we've kind of pivoted out of the um film and more on the tv side and have started to really put our focus on um having writing scripts tv scripts with uh a female lead and female, uh, strong female uh, characters, uh, mm. women of color, especially. So we've kind of had to pivot out of that and, and move into TV um, because we feel like what we want to do, uh, it, it's more conducive for television uh, to really uh. get the character and go through a season and learn about these characters instead of just two hours condensing all of that. So, yeah. um, so that's kind of where we are now and, and, you know, working with my wife writing, um, and she directs and just working with her has been, has been a privilege and been a learning experience for me as well. Yeah. I mean, that's super cool to like, you guys complement each other in this business. Um, I know it's kind of an evolving landscape within the last 20 years, oh, yeah. all the mediums that have opened up so many opportunities, I'm sure. Yeah. And with, with these different you know streaming networks and and i even think you know, even our political climate has mm -hmm. has led to uh opening up of doors of hey let's see more uh women on television let's see more women of color on television let's see them be the lead let's see them be the second lead um and let's see them be the writers and the directors and the people who are filming it so that's kind of where we've put our our apples so to speak in that uh -huh. cart 
and we're going to persevere and see where it takes us. Um, so you and your wife, you, you guys still appear in, in some of the, the new stuff that comes out. Are you guys still acting in there? You know, I, yes, my wife is, is really um, focused on the writing part and directing part. Um, uh, you may know, but like trying to get a job at acting out here is, is, is really tough. And, um, you know, a lot of the stuff I've got because I've become friends with producers and, um, and said, hey, if I can read for something, let me know. So those parts, you know, they're out there. I'm still mm -hmm. trying to maneuver that. The stuff we write, I usually try to put myself in something. So mm -hmm. uh, that's kind of the avenue I've taken. Like if, if I'm going to do this, uh, I'm going to write something, put myself in it, try to get it financed, try to get it in production and make my career that way. And that's kind of, you know, kind of what I've hitched my horses to or hitched my wagon to. Yeah, no, I mean, this is, uh, that, that is really cool. Um, are the, do you have like, as a former standout Queens athlete, I know you got inducted to the Hall of Fame in 2018. Um, are there any moments uh, that you can think back to uh, in your basketball playing days, your Queens days, or anything that ties back into what you're doing now? Is there anything that kind of sticks out in your head still? Yeah, you know, um, what I've learned in, 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 as I look back in my career is uh, something I had to do was uh, persevere and uh, kind of enjoy the process. And yeah. I don't know if I did that as much in college because you're trying to get to like, I need to get here, right? Mm -hmm. I need to get here. And there's all this stuff that we kind of miss out when we, when we don't just stay in the moment. Um, I think acting and writing has helped me stay in the moment. Um, but, you know, when I was recruited by Queens, I thought I was the only two guard, shooting guard coming in. And when I got there my first day, there were eight other two guards. <laughs> That was a big surprise for me. And I was like, oh, I thought I was the only two guard coming in. Uh, by the end of my uh, first year, my freshman year, there were two of us. And by my sophomore year, it was just me. Uh, and a really good friend of mine who was a point guard with me, TJ Lewis, um, is convinced that I got rid of them somehow. So he's like, just, you're like a mom guy. You just started picking them off one by one. I'm like, I had nothing. <laughs> so, I mean, it's, it's taught me to, you know, persevere, enjoy the process. And whatever the outcome is, the, is the outcome. But just enjoy what you're doing. Because yeah. with basketball, you can't get that back. Like, there's a window. Either in your high school days, in your college days, or professional days, there is a window. So, um, I think there's moments that I took in and I enjoyed, but I know like, I was like, Oh, I got, I just, I gotta get, I gotta be a professional basketball player. And it's like, dude, just be a college basketball player. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I would say, I would definitely say perseverance is, is one, uh, one thing I really took um, from college and especially my, my first year, my freshman year. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, this is, this has really been awesome. Um, I'm really uh, pleased to have an opportunity to get to know you and to get to interview you. This has been Chuck Whitman, class of 97, Queens men's basketball, All-American, Hall of Fame inductee, and he is the co-founder of MCM Productions in Los Angeles. Thank you once again. Thank you very much.